hello guys and welcome back for another video from yours truly if you're new my name is ashley thank you for stopping by today we are going ahead and jumping right into the autumn season with this beautiful decorate with me i'll be talking through this one just to let you guys know where i'm getting the pieces from i hope you guys enjoy and stay along for the ride Okay, so I'll be starting off at my front door. My wreath here is technically from TJ Maxx. It was existing. This had been up here year round almost. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add this garland we picked up from Target. Um, I really couldn't find a wreath that I liked. So, you know, this will do. And I actually really, really love this. It's simple and it's pretty much all that's me right there but uh so over to my side i'm adding this ikea box that i stained to match my flow and then this welcome sign that came from tj maxx i believe as well as this little pumpkin this bee came from kirkland and it actually had a a bow there before that i wasn't really feeling so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add this twine that i picked up from dollar tree yeah the dollar tree over to the other side it's just a little lantern that i put one of those led lights the lantern and the led light inside of it came from tj maxx and my little doormat it came from where did it come from at home there you go Moving right along to my entryway, this wreath came from Target, this little burlap piece came from Hobby Lobby, and I'll be adding this garland that also came from Target, this thankful sign again from Hobby Lobby, and some pieces from last video that came from Hobby Lobby, that pumpkin came from TJ Maxx, and you know the little glass thing came from Hobby Lobby if you watched my last video. These cute, adorable mini pumpkins came from my favorite store, TJ Maxx, and I'm just gonna add them there just to give that glass a little pop. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the colors have definitely changed inside of the house to a more earthy, darky, warm toned color scheme. You know, I'm like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the browns and burlaps, and I was really just doing it for me. Yeah. <laughs> so my dining room, yo, this kind of was a fluke. Like a lot of the pieces that I am using are reused from um, other holidays or things that I already had around the house. I honestly did not purchase a whole lot for this season. So I'm gonna pat myself on the back for this one. That wreath also came from Target. It almost is identical to the brown one. I was gonna use it on the front door, but I decided to use it on the table and it looked pretty cute. So yeah, everything in this room other than the wreath were things that I already purchased. The wreath and the burlap piece was things that I already had in the house. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep right along adding some brown to this white wreath because I wanted a little bit more color, but I'm pretty much in love with this space. Like it's, it's really elegantly print. I have never set this table. I originally wanted to put these place match, which came from TJ Maxx on the bar, but I felt like this space was a pretty bare, so I decided to set the table with these placemats and, you know, my little glass plates that I, you know, I use all the time. So I love this. I love this look. And, you know, this is what I came up with. What do you guys think? So my favorite part with decorating is doing my little floral arrangements. I got all of these bundles of flowers, which totaled six for under $22, all from, of course, Trader Joe's. I stand with Trader Joe's flowers. I suggest you go get you some because, yo, they're beautiful. So yeah, so I added, again, that twine from the front door. I added more to this. It's the same bundle, all that $1 twine. So I'm gonna add it to my little flower vase here just to add a little bit more textures. You know, I love my textures and you know, this little burlap was giving it to me. This little tray I picked up from at home as well as this, what you call this stuff? Poopery. So yeah, so <laughs> I'm adding it here. I'm gonna add a couple of those mini pumpkins here too just to give me a little bit more, you know, pumpkin vibes and all that good stuff. In the next clip you'll see that I'm going to add some silver plates that I already had. These came from TJ Maxx a while ago, as well as, you know, those same plate sets. And I got this plate sets from Marshalls years and years ago. Every, whenever I crack one, I end up going to Dollar Tree. They have these same type-ish at the Dollar Tree. And these little bitty trays that are in here, they came from Dollar Spot and Target. All right, so onto my coffee bar, I'm adding these amazing candles from Bath & Body. They smell so good, give you all these syrupy smells. And this mug came from Kirkland. This basket I got from a gift back when I used to work. I, I repurposed it, I actually use it in my pantry, but I'm repurposing it as a little stand. I have this cheesecake 
um, coffee creamer and this autumn spice tea as well as another little mug from Kirkland and I'm just gonna stage it up with a few faux pumpkins and our little leaves in this little area here just to make it all cute and stuff <laughs> But next, I did stain my little letter board and you know, I added a little saying, you know, the letter board. What's the, what? of course I have a letter board. <laughs> but yes, I have my, my little flowers that I always have here and you know, that's it. Guys, show me some love by hitting that like button and some encouragement because your girl only purchased one new pillow cover for this transition. Yes, only one. The navy blue pillows you guys have seen tons of times. They match my curtains and my little bar stool. They're not changing. These tan pillows came from my bed. I'm moving them from my bed to in here. And then the gray ones, they, you know, they came with the sofa. So, you know, nothing new there. The other pillows were pillows that I've had for years and years. They all came from TJ Maxx and I did purchase this adorable, hold on. Those were already, already had those. But this one, the This Is Us one, Though that one came from Amazon. I will link it if I don't, you know, holler at your girl in the comment section. But yeah, I didn't purchase no new pillows other than this pillow cover that says this is a super cute, right? <laughs> Anyways, my little table, I pulled from outside. We've been using it a lot, so I just kept it in here. The pumpkin candles came from Bath and Body, and I'm only adding those and one of the mini pumpkins that I had from years and years ago. So yeah. I love this pumpkin here. This is the actually history. That's the very first decorative thing we purchased when we moved out here to Texas. Like really, that one. So yeah, I'm adding another crate from Ikea and these pillows and this little runner into this basket. I think that area just looks super, super cute. On to the next room, let's go. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add my bedroom into this video. I'm not gonna make you guys wait like last time because yeah, I'm terrible. But anyways, I'm gonna just change my sheets to these pink sheets and I put baby powder under my sheets, guys. It smells so good. You're gonna sleep and feel like a whole baby. But anyways, I need to clean out my headboard. Like that stain is driving me crazy, but you know, I'll put a pillow there and you don't even see it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but anyways, I changed my sheets to these, you know, these pinkish, I don't know what color this is, but I'm gonna go with pink. It's kind of pink. But anyways, I'm changing my bed to that and I got these sheets from Target. I'm gonna make my full bed. You guys will see it at the very end of the video, but my comforter is at the cleaners right now. So I'm just gonna make it up with the sheets and the pillows for the moment. But like I said, at the end of the video, you guys will see it with my actual comforter on. But honestly, I kind of just like the pink vibe. like. I'm feeling the sheet look right now, y'all. For real, for real, for real. <laughs> and yeah, all these pillows pretty much came from TJ Maxx again. The other small pink pillows, the smaller ones came from the smaller two that I just touched. Amazon, that's what I'm trying to say. Amazon, those two came from Amazon. I'm adding some little mobby pink candles over to my sides because you know your girl loves some candles. I got a candle fetish. Obviously, look, I'm adding more. I have a total of 16 actual flamed candles in this house. At the end of the video, when I do my whole run through, 16 candles will be lit. I know. I'm crazy. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have issues, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We're going to keep on with the video. I'm almost done. Let's get it. Let's keep it going, y'all. Now, I initially was not going to touch this room, but I went ahead and I add this metal little tray. I had my flowers on this outside and I put it here because I wanted something colorful in the middle of my counter. So we changed the little hand towels out. This is hubby's idea, but that color just looks so cute, right? Target, yes, Target. Nothing changed in here, y'all. I just wanna show you guys, I'm using this small space thing and this thing is the bomb, like, oh my gosh. And a Glade scent. This is like cozy. What does this thing say? Cozy Autumn Cuddles. Oh my God, it smells so good. But that's it. I just changed out my hand towels and a few more towels in the back. And voila, my bathroom also has a couple of fall autumn vibes to it. Yes, and I love it. Now this is probably my favorite, favorite piece of the house. You guys will see the full thing at the end of the video because my camera did unfortunately die. But this is my favorite piece. It's our first time putting actual family photos up on the walls of our home and I'm, I'm just loving it. Let's get to the tour.
I just want to thank you guys so much for sticking to until the end of the video. Until next time, you guys. Bye.